Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Jimba's Classic Movies. As always, I'm your host, Richard Head. Tonight we bring you a film of terror, of murder, and of cats. A 1958 classic directed by the esteemed Bernard Ramsey II, once a protege of Sir Alfred Hitchcock, Bernard Ramsey II drew inspiration from Hitchcock's work such as The Birds, Psycho, Dial M for Murder, and created this esteemed cult classic that we now regard to today as one of the greats. So please, enjoy. April, he's dead. Wait, what? Who's dead? Leroy. He's dead and I saw it happen. What? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's hard to explain. This pie's pretty good, Roman. He's a little bit more nutmeg, though. I make. Roman? Hey, you okay? Roman, you're just in shock. You have to believe me! You want me to believe that you looked into a cat's eyes and saw your friend die? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true! Oh yeah? Well, what do you see? You see me? I'm serious. Why don't you just... Go outside and get some fresh air and clear your mind and I'll just stay here and kill April. Hi, Roman. What you up to today? Gardening. Looks like you got a lot of work to do to get up to code. Leave it to it. Come on, Bruno. Salutations, mind warriors. Commander Carl Langstrom here, returning with breaking news. As you know, there have been a string of cat-related murders in our small, wholesome community. I'm on the scene where just hours ago, a woman was found strangled, murdered with a cat leash. And where is the aforementioned feline? Nowhere to be found. Proof, once again, that this catastrophe is clawing its way into the homes of our fine citizens. Stay safe. Carl Langstrom out. Okay, okay, how was that? Fine, can I have my vape pod now? Yeah, here. Get out of here. I'm gonna check in with some of the neighbors. Hi, can I help you? Greetings, citizen. Is the captain aboard? Uh, what? The king of the castle. Wait, who? You know, the man of the house. Um, this is my house. Who is it, honey buns? Um, it's nobody. Um, what the fuck do you want? Excuse me, sir. Have you heard about the cat murders? Not this cat shit again. What do you know about the cats? What do you know about the cats? Listen, you brought me here for a reason. You must know something. I'm just looking for answers, man. Well, you're not gonna believe me, but these cats show me things. What kind of things do they show you? I get these visions. Visions of people dying just before they die. Like of the cats killing their owners? You think that's what's happening to these people? That's the only logical explanation. I want out, okay? I don't, I'm done with it. Look, you have a gift. You'd be wasting your gift if you didn't use it to save lives. We can help people and then you can come on my show and talk about it, all right? And all right. then everyone will know that you're a hero. Okay. See anything? No, nothing. I'd, some people in buildings. Ooh. Ooh. Cats, man! Cats! I... Uh, no. Uh, sorry, no. I don't see them. <sighs> Keep your eyes peeled. They could sneak up on you at any moment. Those furry devils. 
They have to be out here somewhere. My sources say they've been congregating in this area. You can almost smell the tuna in the air. Perhaps they have a secret hideout or some sort of speakeasy that they meet at. A little cat club or some sort of a cat bar. We would have to gain entrance. We could dress ourselves up as cats. I tell you what, Roman. Victory is so close, you can almost taste it. Roman, where are you going? Another soldier lost, and this time closer to home. Dear Taylor, your loss will not be in vain. Did you see where they went? Ah, uh, no, I lost him. You lost him? You saw them? You saw one of the furry devils? The same cat I saw in my visions. Of course. It must all be the work of one cat. A feline assassin. All right, get out of here. The police are gonna be coming soon. We, 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 we can't explain any of this to them right now. I'm gonna stay, take some evidence from the body, okay? Right. Get out of here, get out of here! Where the hell have you been? Nowhere. Oh my God, don't lie to me. I know that you've been out with that greasy-haired nutjob all day. You know, you know, Roman, someone died outside of our house this morning. I'm just... Didn't you just walk outside with some guy you just met this morning? Carl listens to me. I told you, the cats aren't doing anything. They're not showing you anything. You don't know what I've seen, okay? Because you haven't seen a goddamn thing, you fucking loon! Shut up! Shut up! You never believe me. You never listen to me. Roman, I think I... Oh, did I come at a bad time? Over this bullshit. What's up her ass? Nothing. What do you want? Oh, right. What is it? It's a paw print. From the body? <laughs> I dare say this may be the key to finding our man. Or should I say cat? <laughs> I gotta change the litter box. Roman, are you okay? <laughs> the cats aren't killing anyone, Roman. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. <laughs> What are you? I'm here to help you, Roman. Say that! It'll all be okay, Roman. Say that! I just want this to be done. Come with me, Roman. Trust me, Roman. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And thanks for joining us. And I hope you tune in next week. What the fuck is a Bernard Ramsey II? He's my father! What the fuck?